joining me now, the Washington Times opinion editor and a Fox Business contributor, Charlie Hurt. Charlie, always great to see you. Um, and this uh, story great initially you, came out uh, from the Washington Post. Obviously, there was a leak of some sort indicating that we could see charges, but there's a couple of issues here that that happened so close to the midterm elections, number one. But number two, the charges that are right. being discussed right now, we're talking about tax evasion and, and lying about um, using drugs on a gun form. That's not really at the heart of what this investigation was all about. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, the first point, obviously, there's really no good time for your son to be uh, investigated for lying on gun forms and uh, uh, cheating on his taxes. All of that should have been uh, handled a long time ago, at least years ago. The public has known about this for going on two years now or more. Uh, anybody, uh, any normal person who lied on their, their uh, federal forms in purchasing a firearm would be sitting in jail by now. Yeah. But because Hunter Biden is, is Joe Biden's son and because he was able to deploy Secret Service to help him get out of a jam, he managed to avoid being prosecuted. Same with the same with the tax evasion charges. But you're exactly right, Jackie. The most important thing here is this is not the real problem. The real thing DOJ needs to be looking at is w w all of his business dealings right. that very clearly raise important questions about to what degree was Hunter Biden and the president or then Vice President Joe Biden using his official capacity in the government in order to shake down foreign governments. And, you know, part of the resolution, part of the reason that Hunter Biden is arguing, his lawyers are arguing that he doesn't need to be prosecuted for the tax evasion is because he belatedly paid $2 million in taxes that he hadn't paid. Well, my question is, where the heck did he get that $2 million? Did he get that through illicit means that is the heart of the far more important uh, investigation that, that you're alluding that's to. That's actually, that's an excellent point. I hadn't thought of that, but that is a great point. Having said that, um, we, we do know, uh, as evidenced on the laptop, that there are, are these emails about business dealings, right, with energy companies in China, with companies in Ukraine, when Joe Biden was president. And that's yeah. at the heart of this, right? Um, there was a grand jury investigation, and this is all they're coming up with. Obviously, we don't know the whole story yet. We don't know what the actual charges will be if they are filed, in fact. But having said that, you know, in light of Tucker Carlson's interview with uh, Tony Bobulinski earlier yeah. this week, it, it's kind of mind-boggling, right? The guy stepped up to the plate, went to the FBI, he handed over his phones. He said there is evidence on here as right. well um, that would indicate that everything on the laptop is true. It's everything you need. And, and nobody ever called him back. Right. No, and, and to me, that's the most important thing here. You know, you're, you're exactly right. We don't know what else is going on uh, behind closed doors at DOJ. We don't know what else that they might be looking at. But we do know, because, because of that interview with Tony Bobulinski and other, and plenty of other examples, uh, you know, evidence along the same lines, that, that the Department of Justice has displayed a very curious, bizarre lack of curiosity yeah. about evidence that is right in front of everybody's noses. Unfortunately, as anyone who has unfortunately looked at some of this stuff knows or just opened up the Internet knows there is just heaps and heaps of evidence on the, uh, uh, you know, th th that is publicly available that the Department of uh, Justice has been is is apparently not interested in pursuing. Well, and and that's where we, we really do sort of wonder whether or not they're going to actually get to the bottom of these much larger crimes. Having said that, they didn't really move on the laptop story uh, when it was initiated. And once it broke, as we know, and it was reported no. by the New York Post, then social media companies decided to suppress it, even though Mark Zuckerberg says, oh, we didn't suppress it. We just, we pushed it lower on the list. Well, you know, we were ahead of a, a huge election. And some of these um, issues that involve Joe Biden certainly would have been something that I would have liked to know more about and other people might have wanted to know Absolutely. more about before they made a decision. And it would have had an impact on the outcome. The election was not a landslide. It was very close.
Absolutely. No, and, and there's a lot, and there's evidence of Google searches and the like that people were trying to change their votes with so many people voting early. But let's also not forget, you know, the intelligence community, community also concocted this crazy, wild story about how, no, 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 the laptop was not real information. Right. It was all made up by Russian operatives. It was all Russian disinformation. Not only there's the no Justice evidence Dis whatsoever Department, that any of it. but the media also, the liberal media didn't even acknowledge that the right. laptop was real exactly. for like a year and a half. I mean, it was ludicrous. Um, exactly. Charlie, always great to have you on. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Great to see you, Jackie. All right.